Rock by Sound Industries. Um, Sound is probably a subcompany of Nokia because this, these headphones are um, designed in Sweden and Finland and made for Nokia, but of course um, made for uh, produced in China. Um, so there's a lot of companies and um, countries involved here, but um, the result is not that bad. For 35 bucks, you will get different colors. A sound lasso, which is quite interesting. It's a lasso that will help you keep your uh, keep your um, cable tangle free. We also have a remote, um, of course, here for this uh, headphone, which is not only a microphone, but you can also. Um, uh, go to the next song, last song, as you can see here uh, on the outside of the box and also answer your calls and drop your calls and play and pause your music. Otherwise, uh, technical details are 40 millimeters of dynamic uh, driver, sensitivity is uh, at uh, 100 millivolt at 1 kilohertz, means um, you have 101 decibel SPL, impendence at 32 ohm, these are pretty standard uh, numbers and the frequency is from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, but it weighs only 78 grams, that's quite light, lighter than a smartphone um, in a regular 4 inch size, for example here my iPhone 5, or if you're talking about Nokia, you also have here the Nokia Lumia 925, one of the um, best smartphones out right now. I don't have any music on there, so we will use the um, iPhone for listening today, which is actually not bad since um, the H, uh, AHJ jack um, is a standard in America, which means iOS and Nokia um, devices um, are usable with the remote with the same features. One click play pause, two clicks next song, three clicks last song. So that's quite nice. So let's just unbox these nice little headphones for 30 bucks and let's see how they feel and what's inside the box and uh, how you could use them perfectly. So actually let me just take out first the headphones and put them to the side. Of course there's actually more colors available, not only yellow, but yellow is uh, one of the more, more interesting colors by Nokia. Um, in the last year since the 920, I think the Lumia 920, everybody knows uh, Nokia from uh, the yellow color. Then we have a little sticker inside here, Colloud, um, with the logo that you can put anywhere. And then we have here a little manual and that's actually it from inside the box. So let me just put this here on the ground. Uh, the manual has about 20 languages here with um, usage information, warranty, blah, blah, blah. But the most important one is actually here, um, these pictures, which uh, you can see here that we have again here the remote. Um, you can also see that you can of course change the size of the um, earphones. You can also here use the cable um, to wrap it up with this sound lasso and we have here again the specs that it's a three and a half millimeter jack so if you have a 1.8 millimeter device which some um, cameras for example have then that won't work but three and a half millimeter is pretty standard <clears throat> so let me just close this up and let's check out the headphones which i have to take out of this case like this here we go you can see nice yellow color and as I said you can change the size here just do this and then you can see here this is the minimum and this is the maximum length. You can also do this like um, So Republic is for example and other companies now doing it that this is really a nice little plastic that is of course breakable if I would go all the way the other way around but you should not do that. This is of course also possible so they are quite sturdy but only 78 grams which is really quite light. So let me just put them around my neck so you can see here we have the remote and microphone here with a little label which you can take off of course but uh, you can see here that's uh, where you have to use that. Um, and on the end we have here the sound lasso which is this little thing that you can just uh, wrap around your cable here at the end and then just uh, stick this here to the little hole get a little bit closer so you can guys see that uh, maybe nicely or not the camera is of course lazy as always today but i think it's also uh, quite nicely visible that we have here this rubber part which you can just stick here through a hole so that's the sound lasso says it again here on the label and um, the device is actually also called the wh 520 made in china and there is no logo at all by nokia or anywhere here on the um, headphones but here on the cable on one side a little bit just here co-loud um, headphones 
and it doesn't even say the name that these are the knocks. Um, otherwise, uh, left and right, it says it right inside here. It's quite hard to see, I think, but you can feel it also. So right here and left there. But actually, usually the, the um, remote is on the left side, so you will know that. Let me just put them on. You almost can feel that you have them on your head since they're really that light. Just plug in into my um, iPhone and now I don't even have to do anything on the screen of the iPhone. I can just hit the button here and it will play the music um, I was listening to last. So now if I hit it again, it will stop. If I hit it twice, it will go to the next song, I think, or not. The, the, the song has to play actually, so you have to press it once. Yeah, now we are at the next song. If I want to go to back to the last song, I just have to hit it three times. One, two, three. Not playing anything. Maybe once more. Yeah, I was too slow. One, two, three. I get to have them. Now, okay. You have to be quite quick, but it works. You can see it's a nice color. I think everybody wants to be in the center nowadays so that's why everybody's trying out different colors crazy colors and for 35 bucks and uh, when you have for example the Soul Republic um, I think the same price for about 30 bucks you can get only the headband and um, so this is actually not bad in price because you get uh, a full range of headphones and if they break you can just buy new ones and they're not even that expensive and um, then for example here these are a little bit heavier ones which are of course also here quite bendable um, there's also other companies like Panasonic and Sony with headphones like these for about that price but they don't have a remote, the cable is quite thick, they are heavy and they are also bendable but not that much usually. So Callout has a nice compromise here. So let me just hit pause and uh, show you how you can use the sound or sound because it's a Z at the beginning, sound lasso which is pet and pending actually so you won't see that anytime soon from other companies. What I usually do is just wrap here this thing around my head, a uh, head, hand. And what they showed in the picture is that you should just here get through the middle. Wrap this up like that. And stick it here through the hole. And there you have your, I know it doesn't look too nice, but um, they won't tangle up in your uh, anywhere actually. When you have them with you, you can just unwrap this take this out and right away there you have your tangle free cable of course also here with the um, remote and everything um, here from um, Colout. so these were the Colout um, the Nox here in a short unboxing hands-on and I will also say review um, sound wise I didn't even tell you actually right now um, quite nice but if you go to the maximum or close to the maximum uh, volume uh, then um, high pitch sound like for example claps won't sound that good but otherwise I'm pretty pleased for this price with these headphones so thank you much for watching these were the callout Dinox by Nokia and callout um, built together uh, till next time please and again don't forget to subscribe my name is Balash Gal and this was Endevil TV